Friends, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows two videos. One video shows two ovarian cysts. One is simple, and the other is other video shows a uterine mass, heterogeneous uterine mass. You can see the uterus antiverted. This is uterus and this one is the left ovary, ovary. Now you can see both the cysts lying in the same side, left side. Both the cysts are seen in the left ovary. One is uh, having a clear fluid in its interior and the other has a turbid and thick fluid that is uh, uh, hemorrhagic ovarian cyst. The larger cyst is the simple ovarian cyst that is follicular cyst. There are two types of functional ovarian cysts, follicular cyst and corpus luteum cysts. Follicular cyst contains a follicle that has failed to rupture and filled with more fluid in sand. Corpus luteal cysts occurs when the follicular rupture to release the egg but then seals up and swells with fluid. During a, a woman's menstrual cycle, the egg grows in the sac situated in the ovary called a follicle. In most cases, the follicle breaks down and releases the egg but if the follicle doesn't break open and the then the fluid inside the follicle can form a cyst in the ovary. You can see the simple ovarian cyst and the hemorrhagic ovarian cyst and you can see the difference. The simple ovarian cyst has a clear fluid with having no significant internal turbidity while the hemorrhagic ovarian cyst has a large amount of thick sludge in it due to the bleeding occurred in the cyst and the infection infection may also cause the internal turbidity the in the fluid seen in the ovarian cyst now, now the Follicular cyst typically dissolved after releasing the egg, but if the sac doesn't dissolve, then it may cause the corpus luteal cyst. Other types of follicular uh, ovarian cyst include dermoid cysts, where sac-like growth on the ovaries that can contain hair, fat, and other tissue. Cyst adenomas, non-cancerous growth that can develop on the outer surface of the ovaries. Endometriomas. Tissue that normally grow inside the uterus can develop outside the uterus and attach to the ovary resulting in the cyst. Now you can see this is uterus, this is the cervix and this one is the follicular cyst. Simple ovarian cyst and this one is the hemorrhagic ovarian cyst. This is the right ovarian hemorrhagic cyst. Just this video is concluding and after this video you can see a video showing the uterine mass. This video shows a heterogeneous uterine mass. You can see the uterus and a large heterogeneous semi-solid to solid inconsistency mass is seen in the posterior near the posterior wall of the middle and middle portion of the uterus. This is the mass and this mass is semi-solid to solid in consistency, round to oval in shape and has heterogeneous ecogenicity. 
this is a patient aged about 57 years in the menarche stage and she was having intense pelvic pain along with some vaginal discharge and you can see the extensive blood flow seen in the mass the vigorous blood flow is seen in the mass the mass is autogenous you can see the blood flow in the rim region is visible along with the blood flow in the center portion now you can see this is the left ovary and mass is clearly seen in the middle portion of the uterus along the posterior wall thanks for watching please subscribe my channel if you do like this video please click the like button thanks